Mother. I am sorry, Mother. I am sorry because the definition that Google and geography textbooks have given you is that you are basically a piece of land with a large number of trees and variety of plant species. They are wrong, Mother. They are wrong and I apologize on their behalf. I apologize for the fact that they have failed to connect with you and realize that you are more than just a group of trees. You are alive. Scientists argue that oxygen is life. Well, <laughs> I can also argue that you are the giver of life. Since I wouldn't be breathing this fresh air if it wasn't for you. You are the best recycler that I know, mother. You take away the waste that I breathe out and give me fresh and more oxygen every single day. Yet you do that for free. History taught me that you gave me shelter and fruits as a source of food when I was just developing it. Then I became civilized and I needed my own house. So I failed you to build a house. But that was not enough. Then I began my pursuit for knowledge and I needed paper to write on. So I turned to you like an ungrateful son and failed you more to get paper. It's like I've waged war against you, yet you have done me no harm. But like a good mother, you couldn't fight your own son. So you stood by and waited for the first axe to hit. When I am stressed, I come to you for hiking and other fun games. When I am bored, I come to see the wildlife that you have adopted. And when I feel sick, you give me herbs. You knew that I would feel cold now and then. So, you gave me firewood from your dry branches, but I became classy and asked for charcoal. Everything you have done is to my own benefit, but like a rogue son, cut her, I have repaid you. By cutting you down so that I can build apartments, by polluting the very rivers that you make flow. I am sorry that I have failed to realize that you are something precious worth being treasured. I kept lying to myself that it's just one tree, no big deal. Yet deep down I knew that that one tree can help prevent global warming. I was a fool, an educated one for that matter, to think that I was superior since you did it fight when I failed you. But the truth is that you can exist without me. But I can't exist without you. So who is the superior one now? I was blinded by the money that I got from selling your products that I failed to see the future. And now I'm paying dearly for my mistakes. Prolonged drought and unpredictable rains. My brothers in Trochi angered you and you hit them with a tsunami. My brothers in Turkana and Masad did fail you and you turned their land into a desert. I wish I had listened to your advocates. Maybe today our rivers wouldn't be drying up. I am sorry, Mother. Like a prodigal son, I've learned my lessons bitterly. I hope my brothers do before it's too late. Please don't punish us, Mother. I'll change my ways and plant at least 25 trees per year to help in achieving the target of 1 billion trees and the realization of Vision 2030 of 10% forest cover. Forgive me, Mother Nature. 